You see, everybody likes to talk about and showcase their successes, but they won't tell you the horror stories or events that they've had to endure along the road. The fall of 2016 was one of those times for me. It was my eighth year in business, and due to becoming distracted by what I call shiny objects, my leadership started to tank. I had an entire team that had tons of potential, but because I was isolating myself from most of my vital roles as a leader, like communicating, encouraging my whole team, the whole business went from slamming to slacking. Because of the negative and uncomfortable environment I'd created through my poor leadership, I hit an all-time low. I can remember the night like it was yesterday. It was a night where my assistant had to pull me out of a private training session into my own office, where one of our boot camp members, an awesome one at that, one that I loved working with, was literally in tears because she didn't know if she should cancel her membership or not and felt that she should, even though she didn't want to. I caused this mess. My pathetic leadership of my organization led to her feeling like that. And that moment was an all-time low that forced me into a deep depression. Worst part about depression for an entrepreneur is that they're still expected to show up. Even more difficult when you're a fitness professional who is known for always being Mr. Positive, full of energy and happy. Things got so bad that there were some days I only had one person in my boot camp. A boot camp that over the last eight years had served thousands and thousands of people and was now down to one, maybe two, on a good day. This was literally one of the most humbling times in my life. The two things that really got me out of this mess was my faith and shifting my focus back onto delivering 10x value to my clients and teammates. God pulled me out of this depression pretty quickly and I can't be more thankful for that. All of a sudden, one good thing after another started happening until I got the big mo, momentum, and I had a full head of steam going into 2017 and 18. About a year later, that very same girl who sat in my office and cried her eyes out because of my poor leadership caused her to cancel something that she loved doing, not only signed back up for membership in our new and improved top line boot camp, but she also referred her friends to join with her because she loved it so much she wanted them to join with her. She even now goes to the same church as me. I doubt that she'll probably ever know how much her coming back meant to me and seeing that transition happen over the course of 12 to 14 months. And I tell you all of that to remind you that comparison is the thief of joy. Every person whom you see succeeding has been right where you are. Rock bottom, broke, stressed, anxious, tired, lonely, upset. But if you can get yourself to shift your mindset just that little bit and focus on those things and take action on the changes you know will improve your situation and then surround yourself with people who will support you, believe in you, and make you better, you too can change your entire life, even if you start at rock bottom.